please introduce yourself, spelling your last name for the record. Hi, my name is Charlie, Charlie Kaminsky, K-A-M-I-N-S-K-Y. Mr. Kaminsky, what do you do for a living? I'm a luxury transportation expert. I own and operate Quadruple A Limousine Company. How are you involved in today's case? I witnessed Cameron Poole stealing from uh, Rockter World, and I was a, he was a client of mine on August 30th. I'm gonna take that one at a time. You witnessed Cameron Poole stealing from Rockter World, is that correct? Yes, I did. Can you tell us about that day? Yes, I was going to Rockter World, like I often do, to blow off some steam, and uh, I paid him $35 because he's the ticket booth operator, and I saw him do a uh, funny hand motion with my money that I'd given him. Could you describe this hand maneuver? Yes, I gave him $35 for the World Tour Pass, because of course, a man like me needs to have a World Tour Pass. I know, I'm a limousine company. And I gave him a 20, a 10, and a 5. And the 20 went straight into the till, but the other 15 went off to the side somewhere I couldn't see. What happened after that? Well, he handed me a wristband that was cheap and faded. It didn't look anything anywhere near like what the World Tour bracelets are supposed to look like. So I asked him questions about this because I wasn't happy about it. What did Cameron Poole tell you? Well, he told me that he was taking some money off the top of the Rock to Roll ticket sales because um, Mr. Longstreet was ripping him off. Now, I want to talk about August 30th, 2012. How did that day start out for you? Well, gas prices were high and the limousines run on premium, so I wasn't about to go and do some work. So I was going to take a day off for me and spend some time at Rock to Roll, blow off some steam and get ready for the next week. That's when I got a strange text message from a number that I'd never seen before. What was this text message about? Well, it was a client that wanted me to pick them up from a grocery store about a mile from Rockter World. Uh, 20 minutes after they texted me again is what they asked. Did this other text message ever come? Yeah, it came around 8 o'clock at night that evening, and they offered $300 so I could be there in 15 minutes to pick them up. What did you do when you received that text message? Well, at the time I was sitting in the line for one of the rides at Rockter World, so I started heading out towards the parking lot. What happened as you were heading out to the parking lot? Just as I was about to get to the main gate where I was going to leave to go to my car, uh, I saw Cameron Poole, the man that gave me the cheap wristband at the ticket booth, running away from a security guard heading towards the back of the park. What did you do when you saw this? Well, I watched for a second, but then I realized I had a job I had to do, so I got out to my car as quickly as I could. Did you ever meet your client at the grocery store? Yes, I got to the parking lot just in time and I saw Mr. Cameron Poole come out of a forest across the street and then into the grocery store and then before I knew it, he was at my window. When Cameron Poole approached your car, what did you do? Well, I rolled down my window. I was going to tell him that I was waiting for a fare and that I couldn't talk to him. But then he told me that my fare had arrived and he handed me a stack of money. It had to have been at least $400. Cameron Poole, as your client, did you take him anywhere? Yes, I did. Uh, as I do with all my clients, I opened up the back door, let him in. Uh, when I opened up the door, the pink flamingo lights come on in the limousine itself. And he asked me to take him to the Midlands Marina. Just to be sure, he was the only one that got into your limo. It was just him. Have you seen or heard from Cameron Poole ever since that day? No, not once. What happened the day after August 30th? Well, the next morning, bright and early, uh, Officer Kimball actually came to my door and started asking me questions about what had happened the night before. What did you tell him? Well, I told him what I'd seen. I told him about the, the money skimming scheme I saw Karen Poole in the ticket booth with, and I told him that he was a client of mine on the night of August 30th. Thank you. At this time, I have no further questions. Okay. Cross.